Adventures. Hello. Welcome back to another episode of our weekly vlog. This week we are in Savannah, Georgia for actually the next two weeks and we just spent four months in Florida and it is nice to be in a different state. <laughs> it's actually a little bit cooler here which is also very welcome after you know we enjoyed the heat but it's nice to put on a sweater. Put on a sweater today and we're right on this lake which is amazing and the pine trees smell so good. It's just nice to be in a different climate I suppose <laughs> and we're not that far from where we were. We're only about two and a half hours from St. Augustine but the terrain changed quite a bit which is nice. Well we're about to go off exploring Jekyll Island so let's go. Yeah there's a driftwood beach there which should be neat. plantation. Yeah, it's this really crazy old school plantation. You just drive down this awesome oak road where the trees are just canopied right over the road. It's it's awesome. It's like 400 oak trees, which are the, the tree of Georgia, the official state tree. <laughs> and apparently Georgia was started before the colonies. No. Well, it was its own thing outside of the colonies and they were against slavery. Yeah, they were trying to build their own Christian utopia uh, without slavery and they had their own charter and weren't part of the original royal colonies. Right, but they failed and then slavery came. I feel like we've learned more in the last couple of weeks than I did in, in like, entire all of year school. history. <laughs> yep. So now we're going to go explore the grounds and see if we can find the ruins and just take in some of the nature. It's cool here. Very pretty. actual people like doing old legit blacksmith <laughs> they're making nails which is cool yeah they were just talking about how imagine how many nails you have to use when you build something and back then each and every one of them had to be hand forged by a blacksmith 
And they were using like the, what's it called? The bellows. Bellows to make the fire really hot in order to get the iron to be hot enough to mold into nails. What a weird job in this day and age. Age. I work in a colonial style <laughs> blacksmith. <laughs> and that's probably the end of this. We're gonna see if we can go into Savannah and walk around in the city. Yeah, let's go check the city out. That's cool. So we just popped over to Forsyth Park. This town is so charming. I love finding little vegan messages wherever we go. This chalk art says, dairy is scary. If she's not your mom, it's not your milk. And they are sea life, not sea food. It's not food, it's violence. There's nothing funny about animal abuse. Go vegan. last night. Um, it's got Kevin Spacey and John Cusack. Really good movie. We really enjoyed it. And so here we're at the Mercer house, which is where the murder took place. And it's based on true events. Plus it's just like a really awesome looking house. We might come back next weekend and do a tour. Six years old today. Old man. An old man. Getting up there. Uh, it's been a pretty good day so far though. Uh, Hayden woke up, made me pancakes with some rice paper bacon. Which rice paper bacon is really good. We'll have to put that in a vlog at some point because we're really impressed. Yeah, it's super delicious. So we're heading up to Savannah right now to get dinner at their only fully vegan restaurant that we can find called Fox and Fig. And we looked at the menu earlier today and it looks really good so uh, pretty excited to get up there. We love food. It's our favorite. It is our favorite. We have crostinis and it looks like strawberries and blueberries with hemp and chia seeds and
That was absolutely one of the best meals we've had in a long time. It was so good. Honestly, like, I can't say enough good things about it. We had a cheese plate that was... It was, I can't even, there's no words. Like, it had fig salami, which was yeah. great. It had great smoky flavor, and it came with crostinis, and then it came with four different types of Miyoko's cheese, which we love Miyoko's. <laughs> and it, you just combined the cheese together, and it was just so fabulous. And then Aaron had... I had the seitan and French toast, which was... The, <sighs> We can't even yeah. speak words because it was so good. It's like the, it's French toast's answer to chicken and waffles. It was to die for. The sweetness from the cinnamon and the syrup, and then it hit you with the heat from the spiciness. And the seitan was not chewy and tough. It, was, it just fell apart. It was so good. I had flatbread. And it was just like packed with cheese and it had sausage crumbles and it had pickled onions on top. It was seriously like the best thing. I shouldn't have eaten it all, but I just kept, I didn't <laughs> want it to end. That's where I'm at right now. I didn't want it to end. A little too full. But of course we uh, we brought home tiramisu cake too. So Birthday cake. Can't wait to try that. Yeah, we needed like to give our stomachs a minute because we just ate all the foods. But <laughs> oh. Fox and Fig in Savannah. It's the first all-vegan restaurant, the only all-vegan restaurant here in town. They've only been open four months. I planned on talking to you while we were eating, but it got packed and um, pretty loud in there, So, which is great. You know, we love seeing vegan establishments succeed and thrive. So yeah, congratulations, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So that's it for this week's episode. If you like what we're doing, give us a like. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next week.